From our Savior Lutheran Church in West Columbia, South Carolina, it is Daily Prayer with Pastor Lance for Friday, December 11th, 2020. I want to kind of get into this one rather quickly because there's a couple things to be said about it. Uh, one, it's a topic, uh, it, it, it's a psalm, and the other is just kind of the strange way that the psalm is arranged. So make sure you kind of, you're looking at, well, I'll give you the heads up. There's two parts to this psalm. The first part is where God has acted and things are good, and the second part is a prayer that God would restore things. But there's a couple ways to look at that. So let's listen in. A reading from Psalm 126, a song of ascents. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we rejoiced. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses in the Negev. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves. Okay, this is a psalm of ascent, which means it's a psalm that would typically would be sung uh, when people were kind of marching up to the temple for worship. They're ascending up the hill uh, to where the temple is on top of the mountain. Well, they're singing this psalm, and it's... You can't quite tell what's happened. It's, has God restored Jerusalem once? And everyone was very happy, and now as things do, it's, it's fallen apart? Or, in the time sequence of things, does the second part go first? That is to say, they ask God to restore, and this is what it looks like when he has restored, and everyone's filled with joy. It really doesn't matter so much. I mean, people send, tend to kind of, they're nostalgic. They look back on the past and say, it was so much better back then. You know, boy, the 80s had some great music. They don't make music like they did back in the 80s. Okay, go back and really listen to some 80s music. Some of it is just downright awful and was very popular. Just because it's past doesn't mean then it's great, right? But things do move in a cycle. And we've spoken about that before, and it's kind of, you know, that, that randomness, that chaos slowly creeps in over time, and things need to be set right once again. That's always the case. You know, <laughs> we're remodeling some bathrooms in my house. It ain't cheap, but it sure does need it, you know? But at one time, those were wonderful new bathrooms. They looked great. They were the style of the day. Well, no longer. Things have moved on. And we've got to restore those bathrooms and kind of bring them up to date. You know? So I guess the point is, when we're talking about something like cities, nations, civilizations, right? God's always at work in this process. Yes, certainly for Jerusalem, right? But also everywhere, I would believe. You know, just because God is maybe not worshipped in some places, that doesn't mean that he's not God there either. And this then has led me to this day, we'll pray for our cities. 2020 has been a rough year. Who knows what the future holds? It, things could continue to fall out of place with our schools, our institutions, all the sorts of things. We're going to need God's help to get it right. And not only will it be, perhaps it'll be like it was, but perhaps it will be better. That's real restoration. So let us pray for our cities. Gracious God, bless our cities and make them places of safety for all people, rich and poor. Give us grace to work for cities where neighborhoods remain vibrant and whole, where the lost and forgotten 
in society are supported and where the arts flourish. Make the diverse fabric of the city a delight to all who live and visit there and a strong bond uniting people around common goals for the good of all. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Please join me in thanking Craig Vesprile, the pastor at Messiah down in Hanahan, South Carolina. Uh, I got Craig to jump in and he, man, he produced well and, and fast. So thank you, Craig. Uh, thank you all as well for watching. Be sure to look, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell while you're subscribing.